Well, my job here is to is to complicate this this page stage thing. I'm sure you will. Because <laughs> it's my hope. Yeah, yeah. My hope that these uh, these poems, <coughs> that all good poems, live on the page, live in your eye, and live in your ear too. So that guy was screaming out his broken heart, Janet, and this guy is singing out his heart on, in this case, uh, 6th Avenue and 14th Street. <laughs> and he's selling a little toy, which uh, seems to be a, a scrap of rubber or felt with a string on the end. And when he pulls this little toy around, it suddenly seems to come to life. The name of the toy is the title of the poem. It's called Magic Mouse. You know the Magic Mouse guy? Yeah. yeah. Now I wish that I could say Magic Mouse with anything like the fire and distillation of experience which has gone into his utterance of those words. <laughs> Magic Mouse. Scrap of fur or fabric scrambles hand to hairy wrist. Flees into the hole, thumb and forefinger make in the fist. Most warm days. 6th Avenue and 14th Street. Big headed guy squats, hands outstretched, and the toy slips knuckle to the back of the other hand, scurries to the nest as if of its own volition, while he blares over and over, same flat vowels. Somehow half the time, trumping layered horn and air brake and din of no apparent origin raising his terms above the avenue, as if he peddled not the thing itself, but its unprintable name. Magic Mouse. <laughs> his accomplishment, a phrase the alphabet refuses. Ma, as in na, as in no way. <laughs> Jick, the voice's arc fallen hard back to the sidewalk. Mouths a bridge with a long slide in the center. It won't work unless you're loud. Seal your nasal passages. Inflect five syllables in black and euphony. <coughs> then the little three syllable follow through. Price tag vocalese tailing away like an afterthought. One dollar. Even halfway down the block, he's altered the air made the spine around which some fraction of city arranges itself, his beautiful thing, in diminishing coda as you're further away. Magic Mouse, one dollar. <laughs> I practice, I can't get it right. <laughs> Maybe what's required is resistance. Indifferent citizens impelled in four directions. Scraps of cell phone recitations into private ethers. Mechanical sobs, his syllables cut through and against. Maybe it's the sheer persistence of the ugly span of phrase lifting up and over what it's built to represent. Or else, the engine of his songs, the nothing that could contain that tumbling, scrappy model of a living thing in his hands. So he says it again and again. While the little toy, all the word won't hold, always escaping, goes on with its astonishing work.